Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can set up hand tracking with your Oculus Quest 2 for VR chat. So the method that we are going to use is actually via virtual desktop. So go ahead and get your hands on virtual desktop, get it bought and installed on your Quest 2, get your desktop or laptop all ready, and let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you have hand tracking turned on on your Quest 2. To do this, just go to your Oculus Home menu, click on Settings, click on Device, and then find the hand tracking option and make sure that it is ticked on. So luckily, thanks to a recent update with Virtual Desktop, you can literally buy the application on the Oculus Quest Store, and then we can follow this very, very quick and simple guide to get it all set up. So once you purchase Virtual Desktop for $20, you'll then need to download the Virtual Desktop Streamer application. So you can just quickly click on this. It's going to go down to your downloads. You can install it to wherever is convenient for you. And then once you open it, it's going to show this. And from here, you're going to need to type in your Oculus username. Right here, it tells you how you can find it. It's literally just whatever username is tied to your Oculus slash Facebook account. Um, you can just see it on your profile using the Oculus app. And then inside virtual desktop, you can see on the menu where your desktop is and then select the desktop or laptop that you're using and then connect from there. Then you can go over to your games and go ahead and select VR chat from Steam VR. And then we'll hop into the game. All right, so now we made it inside of virtual desktop and you can see that I'm using my regular controllers right now to do different hand gestures and that, you know, does my facial movements and stuff as well. So literally all I'm going to do here is just take my controllers and set those on the ground. I'm just gonna put it down like this. And then I'm just gonna stick my hands out in front of me and voila, um, my hands are moving around now. Um, you can only do the different um, gestures that you can do on your controller as well. Um, so you can see how when I'm changing my hands IRL that it's being mirrored in the game as different gestures as well. Um, it's not super accurate. It can be a little uh, janky. It kind of jerks around and stuff. Um, then also the other problem with this is that you can't move. So I can't actually go anywhere except for um, in my play space. I can move back and forth. Thankfully, I have a very large one, so that's okay for me. But you can't actually control any of your movement with um, having your hand hands being tracked. So um, the one good thing that this is really awesome for that I think is going to open up a lot of possibilities, though, is DJing. So um, there's a lot of people in VR chat who've been really getting into like DJ sets and night shows and stuff like that. And now instead of having controllers in your way, when you have something in front of you, you can literally just go ahead and move it um, in your YouTube turntables and all your stuff like that. So pretty awesome stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully that is helpful to you guys. We'll do a little thumbs up, thumbs up for some good content. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was sweet and short and to the point, so hopefully you found it useful. I'm going live on Twitch right after this video uploads, so make sure you swing by and come say hi. And if you want to support me making videos like this, then check out my Patreon page. It's a great way to help me. And don't forget to check out merch. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this month's Patreon members and virtual VIPs, Dutech. Lucule, Lillian Sparks, Score Maller, and Top Waffle.